data validation in Excel allows us to apply complex criteria based on formulas to restrict access to particular values in a column. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply the date function in the data validation to restrict access to the date column in our sample data set. So let's get started. Now we have this data set, the date, product, payment type, unit, price, and the sales amount. Now, in this column J, we have the oldest date, the 1st of January 2015, and the latest date, the 1st of December 2022. So we want to apply a date function inside the data validation to restrict the date to only accept dates between the 1st of January 2015 to the 31st of December 2020. So let's see the implementation. I'm going to come to this data. Anyway, the data set is already stored in an Excel table. So I'm going to come to the top of column A and single click to select the data downwards. Now in the data tab, I can click on data validation and then we'll choose the validation criteria. I'm going to choose a date and of course, I want to perform the between data operation. So I'm going to come to the start date. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the date function. Now, by the way, the date function requires three mandatory arguments. The first argument is the year, month, and the day. So I'm going to type in the date function and open the brackets. Now, for the first argument, I want to type in 2015 and then comma, and then for January and then the first. So this is going to be 1st of January 2015. I'm going to close the brackets. Now for the end date, I'm going to type in the date function again. So we're going to type in the 31st of December 2022. So 2022, comma, and then for the month, 12, and then the last day, 31st. Close the brackets. I can specify the input message. Let's just put in um, some input message. Let's call it, you know, date. And let me just type in enter um, dates between... 1st of January 2015 and um, 31st of December 2022. So this is going to be the input message. And of course, we can even specify the error alert. I'm going to copy this and then paste in the title of the error alert tab. And then I'm going to copy the input message and paste in the error message. And of course, we're going to use the stop style. I'm going to accept any data that is outside the specified date range. So I'm going to click OK. And there we go. So we can see the input message displayed. That's nice. Now let's try to check this out. Let's try to enter a date that is outside the 4th of December, the 4th of January 2015 and the 34th of December 2022. So I'm going to type in, let's say the 1st of January 2023. So I'm going to type in 0101 2023. Now when I click enter, there we go. So we can see the message, the error message date. And we can see enter dates between 1st of January 2015 and 31st of December 2022. So it doesn't matter how much I try to force my way, it's not going to work. When I try to click enter again, I'm going to meet this block. So this is basically how we can use the date function inside the data validation to restrict access to the date values. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with your friends and comment. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.